The paper Fine-Tuned Language Models, Our Zero-Shot Learners, is about an instructions-based approach to zero-shot learning. The paper proposes a method called instruction tuning, which fine-tunes a language model on a collection of NLP tasks described using instructions. Instruction tuning is performed on a 137 billion parameter language model called FLAN, which stands for Fine-Tuned Language Net. The striking ability of FLAN is that FLAN can perform tasks that it hasn't seen during fine-tuning, just by reading instructions that describe the task. For example, for an unseen task of recommending activities to do on a sunny weekend in Copenhagen, FLAN suggests visiting Christiania or going to the Copenhagen Zoo. And for the unseen task of making up a new word that means when bananas shower from the sky, FLAN outputs benanation or banania. The paper begins with some motivating observations about learning paradigms in natural language processing. The pre-trained fine-tuned paradigm, popularized by models such as BERT, pre-trains a language model on an unsupervised data set and fine-tunes it for individual downstream tasks. This works well, but it requires many labeled examples, and one specialized model is trained for each task. The prompting paradigm, popularized by GPT-3, takes a single large pre-trained model and uses prompting to perform many downstream tasks at inference time. Prompting can be seen as an attempt to bridge the gap between the language modeling pre-training objective and downstream NLP tasks, and it doesn't work as well for tasks that are hard to write a prompt for. Instruction tuning inserts a fine-tuning stage into the prompting paradigm. It aims to teach the model to perform many tasks using instructions before asking the model to perform an unseen task. This is zero-shot learning because the model does not know the task beforehand, and it does not get any examples of the inference task. Unseen tasks could be any task in natural language processing phrased as an instruction, such as classify the sentiment of this movie review, or translate this sentence to Danish. This leads to the main thesis of the paper. Instruction tuning, fine-tuning a language model on a collection of tasks described via instructions, improves the zero-shot performance of language models on unseen tasks. The methods section begins with the taxonomy of data sets that are compiled for the purpose of instruction tuning. 62 NLP data sets are grouped into 12 task clusters, where data sets in each task cluster are of the same task type. These task clusters include both natural language understanding tasks, such as natural language inference, common sense reasoning, and sentiment analysis, as well as natural language generation tasks, such as translation and summarization. For each dataset, 10 natural language instruction templates that describe the task are manually written. For instance, here's an example from a natural language inference task where we have some premise and hypothesis about Russians in space. The task is to answer whether the hypothesis is entailed by the premise. One way of phrasing the task is by giving the premise and asking the model, based on the paragraph above, can we conclude that Russians hold the record for the longest stay in space? The task could also be equally phrased as, read the following and determine if the hypothesis can be inferred from the premise and so on. The evaluations in the paper focus on Flan's zero-shot performance on unseen tasks. In order to do this, the evaluation setup uses hold-one-out task splits, where, for example, if Flan is evaluated on NLI, then it is fine-tuned on all the other tasks, and it is enforced that no NLI datasets were seen in fine-tuning. As for the training details, instruction tuning is performed on a 137 billion parameter pre-trained language model. Instruction tuning takes 30,000 gradient steps on the collection of 62 datasets spanning 12 task clusters, for which examples in each dataset are phrased using 10 instructional templates. A separate checkpoint is trained for each held out task cluster.
The paper reports the performance of Flan on datasets spanning 10 task types. Flan shows particularly strong performance compared with GPT-3 on natural language inference, reading comprehension, and closed book question answering. However, on tasks that are naturally formulated as language modeling, such as common sense reasoning or co-reference resolution, instruction tuning did not improve performance noticeably, which is noted as a limitation. The next part of the paper investigates key components of instruction tuning via ablation studies. As the idea of instruction tuning is that learning many tasks allows the model to generalize to unseen tasks, the first ablation observes the effects of task clusters to use in instruction tuning on performance on held out clusters. As more task clusters were added into instruction tuning, performance on held out clusters improved, confirming the main hypothesis of the paper. The next ablation is about model scale, or whether instruction tuning works better for large models. For an untuned model, zero-shot performance improves with model size, as expected. With instruction tuning, performance is substantially better than the untuned model at large model sizes. For small model sizes, however, instruction tuning actually hurts performance, which is surprising. One hypothesis for why this happens is that at smaller model sizes, learning a large number of tasks fills up the capacity of the model parameters, and so it cannot generalize well to new tasks. The rest of the paper details various ablation studies and further analysis. These experiments include how instruction tuning can be used in combination with few-shot prompting or prompt tuning, as well as additional ablation studies on the effect of templates per data set and the role of instructions. The paper concludes with a summary of how instruction tuning teaches a model to follow instructions. Although one might expect label data to have the most natural role in improving specialist models, instruction tuning demonstrates how label data can be used to help language models perform many unseen tasks. In other words, the positive effect of instruction tuning on cross-task generalization shows that task-specific training is complementary to general language modeling and motivates further research on generalist models. For more details, see the description below for a link to the paper.